What's up, y'all? Back again with another one. Uh, this episode will be about the LSX Concepts um, Stock Pulley Supercharger Drive setup, all right? Um, a lot of you follow me on my Instagram, and when I was talking about it before, like I had like four or five people message me about it who didn't know about it, all right? Instead of having to grab, you know, um, OEM, LSA, you know, accessories for the supercharger, if you're just running a stock upper and stock lower, all you need is this kit, all right? It's 375, right? Much cheaper than the OEM setup. And more, uh, how do I say, safer, I guess? Not safer, but instead of putting all your accessories on one belt, you know, with an offset upper, you could just separate it. Keep it on its own belt, eight rib, right? No belt slip or none of that. This will only work if you have stock pulleys, all right? Now, why I like stock pulleys and LS9 cam is because all my older builds had radical cams, all right? ASA cam, whatever, right? And low LSA, like 112 LSA, 110 LSA. So it shook at idle. It was loud, it shook the house. Um, some people are into that. I was when I was 24, 25, I'm 30 now. I like reserve, I like my gas mileage high, all right? I like the sleeper, all right? And you're still pretty competitive. You can still get 550 to 530, depending on if you're auto or manual. So 550 wheel horsepower, more than enough for me, and you still have that great stock-like experience, all right? So this will only apply if you're using stock pulleys, all right? So this is a G8 OEM water pump, all right? This is some kind of off-brand Chinese shit. I, don't, I hate this. So whether this, I was gonna use this or not, I would've changed, I would've put OEM back on because this will leak on you randomly. But anyway, um, you notice this just has the see-through holes for water pump bolts, all right? Now, if you come down here, my bolts already installed, but this has provisions for the LSA idler, you know, in the stock configuration. Um, I believe this is a C6 water pump. Some C6 water pumps have these, and it's cheaper than an LSA water pump, so I always buy the C6 version. All right, it's only a 180 or something like that, brand new. Um, you can get takeoffs off eBay for, for half of that, but whether, whether, whether you, you know, choose to do C6, LSA, it doesn't matter. You need these bolt holes, all right? You can't use your stock OEM. Um, water pump. The only time you can use your OEM water pump is if you get an offset upper, all right, and have everything ran off one belt, which I don't recommend unless you like stock pulley. Then, um, you know, if you try to pull it down, your belt's gonna slip, all right. So, this kit is eight rib and it's inexpensive. The OEM setup, I believe, new is like seven, eight hundred bucks. I believe that's around how much it is. So, this is just the, most, the, be the best uh, bang for your buck if you're just doing stock pulleys and you just want five, uh, just over 500 wheel horsepower. All right, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing you want to do is take this block, all right? This is how you want it oriented, all right? And this goes right here. All right, now I went ahead and did this off camera, but you take some blue Loctite, all right? Just go ahead, just get it started on there. Now you grab your number six. All right, I don't know what the hell this is called, a number six. Uh, metric socket, I don't know what the hell it's called. Um, but just do it in by hand and once y'all get this all the way in there and it's time to hit it with the torque wrench, it'll be 15 foot pounds, all right? All right, 15 foot pounds. All right, so next you're gonna grab your puck, right? Now there's two dial pins in here, or locator rods, whatever you wanna call them. I call them dial pins. Mm. I'm gonna grab these two, all right? And you want this in the seven o'clock position. So this is how it's oriented when it goes on, all right? And let's go ahead and put these in. One, two, all right? Just slide this into position. Bam, it should just like that, all right? This next part threw me for a loop. I remember I had this in my GTO back in 2018, 19, whatever it was. But you're supposed to take your supercharger belt, all right? And it's, good. it's not gonna wanna go on the upper and lower pulleys very well. Make sure you get it on the top 
and kind of halfway seated on the bottom. And what you're gonna do what is called roll. You're gonna roll the crank and the crank is gonna suck the belt onto the, the, um, the harmonic balancer, all right? Pause. All right, so it should look like this before you start, okay? It should look just like that. Now, you just roll, okay? Roll the belt on, okay? If you come in close right here, you'll see what I mean. The belt is starting to roll. There you go, now the, now the belt is on. All right, you see the belt's on? So next we wanna take the, the second to last bolt. It's the longest one, right? Drop that in, the glue Loctite. Get it nice and wet. It'll only sit one way, all right? It'll, it'll get in the grooves, all right? All right, now once you get that in place, you pull out. All right, 25 foot-pounds, all right? And what size is this? This is a uh, number eight, all right? The instructions will swindle you. It'll say number five and number eight, but you need a number six and number eight, all right? So this is enough, take your number eight and hit it with 25 foot pounds. There you go. All right, this next, Step is, is the last step, but it's a doozy, all right? Um, you're gonna need a breaker bar for sure. You, you can get away with just, you know, using, what is it, three eighths? Whatever, use whatever you feel. I'm gonna use a breaker bar, all right? But before that, you gotta assemble this, all right? You take this little, whatever this thing is that it rides on. Sorry, I'm bad with terms, y'all. And then it's the last bolt in the kit, okay? Slide like that, all right? Put some blue Loctite on it. And what you're gonna try to do, even the instructions recommend two people. So I'm gonna, use, I'm gonna use help, all right? Is you fully depress it, right? You gotta try to fully depress this, all right? While, let me switch hands, taking this, reaching behind it, and installing this. So I highly recommend you grab a buddy, grab a friend, grab whoever, all right? Cause I try to do it myself. I'm a pretty solid guy and it's a pain in the ass, all right? It'll be much better if you have somebody holding this. Now, at the same time, uh, you may not be able to get a torque wrench back there. I'm not, I'm just gonna guess and I'm gonna hit it with an approximate 15 foot pounds. Please don't over torque it, you're gonna mess it up. If you under torque it, it may come loose or whatever. But So just throw some blue Loctite on it and just try to guess to make what 15 foot pounds is, all right? All right, so as y'all see, I, I came with weapons, all right? I wasn't gonna be defeated. I tried to do it by myself. I'm a burly guy. I, I thought I could do everything He-Man. Nah, that belt was not moving enough for the, you know, idler to slip over the tensioner, whatever the hell you call it, the little whatever. So per the instructions, it said, get a buddy, all right? Get a buddy, a dwarf, your wife, your kids, your whoever. All right, they just need to hold this with tension, all right? The breaker bar right there with tension. And what only worked for me is to stick the belt and kind of pry it against the tensioner arm, okay? Now y'all may not feel comfortable with that. You may find something a little better. I was real careful when I did it, all right? Now, finally got it installed. I just had a, um, a wrench, all right? a ratcheting wrench. All right, I just reached back there and I just torqued it down, okay? I had um, no way of putting a torque wrench back there, so I just guessed it, all right? I guessed it. Now, when you're done with that, what you wanna do 
is just spin your crank over, okay? Because when I spun mine, it kind of popped into place. All right, it made everything happy. You can see it spinning now, everything's good. All right? Look at that. So, there you go. All right, so, like I said, this kicked my ass when it shouldn't have. Um, but words of advice, I don't have my spark plugs in yet, so it makes it way easier when you're turning the crank and rolling the belt onto it, all right? I recommend this kit if you set everything up perfectly, all right? Make sure you have everything where it's supposed to go. You know, your coolant crossover is the way you want it, your wiring is the way you want it, everything you want. Because to take this off, you have to remove the idler and roll the, the belt off, okay? You have to do everything backwards, okay? And it's a pain in the ass, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. But it's well worth the money. It worked for miles. I, I beat on my GTO. People in Phoenix know, I, I, I raced damn near every weekend after pass, all right? And I had no problems, all right? It's 375, best bang for your buck, it looks good. And it, it takes up very minimal space. If you look right here, very minimal space. Some guys have the OEM tensioner stuff here. They have to change the idler off the water pump, yada, yada. You have none of that going on here, okay? Nothing contacts, everything has enough clearance, and it looks good. Everything looks good, all right? Eight rib kit, LSS concepts, I highly recommend it, all right?